Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Yolanda. Yolanda Cativo, Hi. is that how you pronounce it? Cativo? Yes. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Tell the me. root is from, uh, I don't know, uh, Zacatecoluca. Really? Yes, <laughs> teacher. I didn't know that. So we're kind of yes. close. We're neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> we're neighbors. And really? Yep. What my my uh, grandfather uh, is uh, was from Zacatecoluca. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you, where are you from originally? Santa Tecla. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Great, great day. Welcome, Mr. Rafael. How are you doing today? Hello. Thank you. I'm tired. Tired. Was, was a difficult a day, day, really? Yes, it was a difficult day. Welcome I'm to, the ready to the class. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world. Yes. We give the best, huh? We give the best. We do what we do with passion. That's why at the end of the day, we finalize totally like almost dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> I totally agree with you. And we need we need more workers like that, right? We need more people like that. People who really love working, you know, being productive. Yes. I'm crazy to see you. Hello, Mauricio. How's it going? Hello, how are you? I'm doing great. You know, it's I'm I'm sorry, but I forgot your name. <laughs> Hey, I'm not stingy I'm at right all. Your last name, Navarro. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead with that one again. Yes. Okay. Hey. Navarro. It's, it's Navarro? My name is Kalev. Yes. A Kalev. Kalev. Hey, My last name is actually Nunes because that letter doesn't exist in English, so it kind of sounds Brazilian. Nunes. Yeah. Ah, uh, Nunes. No. Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay. So nothing to do with Navarro, okay? Oh, Guacatela. Ah, okay. <laughs> Caleb. Caleb. Uh, no, for, Caleb. For me, it sounds familiar, but I don't know where I I listened to this this last name. But it okay. was a joke from a uh, Fernando teacher. I know. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. I'm getting to know you guys. It's a great pleasure to see you once again. Uh, hello, Sofia Calderon. How's it going today? How was your day? How's how you feeling? Ah, uh, hello, teacher. I feel good. I feel but good. a little work. You had a little work. <laughs> um, worry. Worried? Really? Why? Why? I don't are you know. Okay? I'm pregnant. Ah, I think. I, are you pregnant? You're pregnant? Really? Congratulations. No. <laughs> I don't know if you're serious. Oh, no. I, don't, I don't know if of you're serious yes. now. Huh? Each baby has a piece of bread under his, I don't know, uh, arm. Armpit? <laughs> Under your, her, his arm or the arm, I don't know. According to the church. <laughs> nah, I don't know if I can believe you or not this time. I know you guys love kidding. You're kidding. You might be kidding, huh, Sophia? Are you serious or not? Uh, um, so, so. Uh, so, so. Are you, Are you happy, <laughs> Sophia? <laughs> No. no, are you worried? I'm sorry, I Sophia. Worry. Can you clarify this, please? You are worried. Is your first? Is your first, Sophia? Second. No. Ah, second. Ah. It's your second oh. one. So this it's... country is the best for your baby. <laughs> Who 
Was that sarcasm? <laughs> War of more. <laughs> I mean. No, it's true. It's true, Sophia. You're pregnant then. Is it's true? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. I hope not. You don't know. <laughs> ah, well, well. Uh, so after after semana uh, the week is the, holy week how do you say semana santa in english holy week holy week. week holy after holy week you you have to tell us what happened so and don't worry and be happy sofia <laughs> don't worry be happy don't worry so, <laughs> this is so don't worry. That's happy. very nice. That's very nice from Mauricio. Yeah. I mean, if that's the case, congratulations in advance, Sofia. Okay. <laughs> okay. We will give you a tea. We will give you a tea. Don't worry. We will give you a tea. Okay. Uh, let me welcome some of the other students we have now uh, part of the class. I see Monica Mugia. Um, can you hear us, Monica? Hi, hi, hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm late, but I'm here. No, as long as you're here, as long as you join us, we're very glad. Tell us, how's it going? How was your day? How are you feeling? Ah, oh, it was a stressful day. I see, I saw perdón, many perdón. <laughs> I confused, uh, it's my English, sorry. <laughs> uh, este, yeah, I mean, it was a stressful day. I saw in the training 35 course, like certified to for the information of the company. So I was oh my god my brain my mind right now it's painful the, the, i feel like oh my god even i can't I can process right now my english because it's too many inf information that i process today so yeah wow sounds like a lot of information and a lot you of feel i know how you feel you know how you feel you feel overwhelmed <laughs> Exactly. Right. So, but I, 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 I really, I, I really enjoy be here in the in, in the platform with you, with with all of you guys because I enjoy it really. I practice, I practice more. Sorry, my English. So I enjoy it. You know. That's true, and I'm listening to you. I'm listening to each of you, and every time. You uh, have a good English. Yeah, uh -huh. she. It, all of yeah. you that i was very grammar that grammar it's excellent i was gonna say that and and that goes for all of you that goes for all of you i mean i'm someone i'm the kind of teacher who likes to correct you know whenever there's a mistake whenever there's something i need you know i can help you know a student with but with you i mean <laughs> i just let you go because you guys are very knowledgeable and it's it's really fun it's really fun to be able just to express ourselves and and share our ideas you know and and understand each other's point of view you know and uh, with this language that is a passion for each of us so it's 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 much fun like this monica it's, it's just like you each of your classmates each of them is are very knowledgeable so this is yeah. a great class to be honest with you yeah it's funny, you enjoy, it, you understand, you you feel confident when you are speaking English. Well, I feel with like my confident when I speak English here. I feel like it's my family because I I be, you know, I spend the time in this in this course like maybe three months, four months ago. So oh, nice. I know all the yeah, I, I know all the Oh my so you God. know who is who over here, huh? I know who is who here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I like this level because at this level, when you, you when you're a student, you are thinking in English all the time, and it happens that sometimes you get to dream or have a dream in English. Has that happened really? to you yet? No, I happened to me, but. 
because I relation with the uh, Italian. I I one of yeah I dream in a in an occasion that I was in a restaurant in an Italian restaurant. I cannot I can I could understand the Italian, you know. So I was like in, in my dream, what I be what I what I be doing here, you know? But what am I what am I doing here? In, in English never. In English I I wish, you know You will I I yeah, I, I know that in the future, but I wish that dream in English like like my process, my mind to choose to English and Spanish when I be sleeping. So <laughs> gonna be it will be it will be, great. Gonna be, it will be a great experience. Actually. Yeah, it, because I know that in that point I'm gonna be in another level with my language, with this language. So, because also it's my target language, you know. I feel like like that actually. Yeah. Feel yeah, proud, yeah, of, yeah. feel proud, right? Feel, feel proud of yourself, guys. It's not easy to achieve this level, and it's very important now that you got it to keep it, to keep, keep it, it yeah. and to get it better and to make it better day by day by using it, you know. So yeah. exactly what you're doing, keeping connected. So let's say welcome to the rest of our classmates around here. We also have Irvin. How are you doing, Irvin, tonight? I'm doing well, teacher. What's new? What's going on? Are you ready for some practice? Yeah, I'm ready for today's class. Uh, I would like to learn more. And I have seen the last class. I, I couldn't. Hey, yeah. What happened? In the last class. My internet was the problem. Really? Yeah, but but now I am here and I, and I am here to learn. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, we kind of felt we kind of felt your absence last night, but I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're back. I'm glad Thanks. when it's just one day, right? I'm glad when uh, it's not two or three days in a row because that would be concerning. So for me as a teacher, it's, it's really um, cool that you're coming back once again. Let's say welcome to Fernando. Hello there, Fernando. <laughs> Hi guys, good evening. What can you say? What can you say today? Okay, so my day was very busy at the same time, <laughs> at the same really? every day. What yeah, do you do? Uh, can I can I ask? What do you do, Fernando? I'm project management from education in uh, private school. So apart from the day the day functions, I have to leave everything ready for the holidays because I want vacations. Okay, so that's, that's true. why. Yeah, that's why I have a lot of uh, things to do. It. Right, wow, you have a lot of things to do right because you need to get everything prepared for vacation oh my god that's a lot of work that's a lot of work right there i understand you must feel very tired at this time but thank you for being here man we really appreciate your attendance we really appreciate you want to practice your english here at inglés corporativo the best place <laughs> you can yeah. practice english at <laughs> i like it i like it this program the, uh, already yes Actually, i love it I love it. Actually, this is uh, the best form to do pra with practice. You can learn too much that the other programs that I that I know it. Hey, hey, that's actually a good comment. And I was gonna ask you about it. You know, how how do you feel? But maybe I was leaving that for the last class, maybe. Um, but it's good to hear a positive comment. It's good to hear a positive feedback from you, Fernando, that you feel well. It's not easy. Uh, there's a lot of work behind behind the scenes, behind the cameras. There, there's a bunch of people there working, you know, calling you, you know, doing a lot of things, you know, logistic stuff to make this happen. And after each class, there is a lot of work going on as well here in management here in English Corporativo. But we really do it because we like it, you know. We like to help people like you. We like to help people that really are responsible and they really want to grow, keep growing. People that really have a passion and a vision, you know. So let's keep on enjoying ourselves. Let's see. I also have... Let me see. I have Francisco Ernesto. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Hi, Francisco. How, how, how's, it going? how's it going today? 
Today, Can you hear me? For me, it, it was very hard in, in my work. Oh, really? Uh, but um, I am I'm ready for, I am ready to learn in this class. I think each of us uh, or each of you also, each of you had a very difficult day. It was one of those days that is very uh, busy, that is very tiring, very absorbing, right? You have spent a lot of energy, so you feel a lot of, a lot of um, stress at this time. So relax, relax, please. This is a good way to, to unwind. Do you know what is unwind? No, I don't Why? know. No, I, I don't. It's it's relax. It's to to release stress. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So speaking in English, sharing time with 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 people wow. at the, at your same level is very helpful too. So let me see somebody else. We're ready. Elvis, Elvis Abrego, say welcome to your class, please. How you doing? Good evening. Good teacher. Uh, thank you. Um, um, uh, start again. Ready to start again. Yes. Ready to retake your English classes. Well, let's go ahead and get it started. Let's just get it started right now. We will finalize with comparisons we were talking about comparisons so we're going to finish that topic today okay and we will get started with next one can you visualize my screen now yes 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 great here we go doctor versus nurse well you can say pretty much anything like i mentioned doctor earns more different jobs using verbs and Sorry. past part. Higher rule. But I didn't At the end of this class, you'll be able to compare different jobs. Can you using... can you watch and listen? No, only only, only listen. Here. Only listen, but and uh -huh. the screen is any anybody here? Let me try. Let me try again. Let me try again. Okay, let's confirm if you can watch and listen. Let me try. Yes. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be can you listen? Pair different yes. jobs, yes. Yes. Cool. verbs, yes, and past participles. See, yeah. listen. For example, let's say that you would like to compare the job of a doctor and a medical assistant. Um, and to do that, you can say the following: A doctor earns more than a nurse. Or you could say that a doctor is better trained than a medical assistant or a nurse. Similar to our previous class, we will we'll be making comparisons between two jobs, with the only exception that this time we'll be using verbs and participles. And let me build on that previous example that I gave you. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare using verbs, as you can see. Well, uh, first of all, what are some common work-related verbs that we can think of? Of course, there are many, but what we want to do in this case is we want to think about a few so that we can outline the examples here. Uh, and so let me just point this ones out right now. Um, okay, so we think about verbs that have to do with work. We can think of um, earn, travel, or work, right? Uh, and so how do we make comparisons using verbs? Well, as I mentioned previously, what we did was we said that um, a doctor right, earns more money than a, a nurse. So if, if we look at the uh, words that we use we can say doctor earns so we're going to put uh we're going to put the bird there before uh, the more okay uh, similarly we could express this in a different way so let's say we wanted to make a negative sentence we want to say a nurse doesn't earn more money than uh doctor. 
we're literally saying exactly the same thing, but it's just a different way of putting it, right? Now, um, let's say that we compare two jobs that pretty much earn just about the same thing. Um, this, of course, is not true in many cases, but we can probably say that uh, a teacher earns as much as a police officer. Now this obviously I think this depends on the country. I think that uh, in some cases is um, in some cases a teacher may earn more in certain it depends it also depends what kind of teacher but a teacher earns as much as a police officer you can say so what we're saying here is that they are pretty much on the same level as you can see right um, and uh, that's another expression that you can use. So then again, um, what I'm pointing out at this point is that I am making comparisons using uh, using the verbs, right? So in this case, these are the things that I want to emphasize. Um, so I'm using that particular verb there, right? Um, I could have added here, earned a teacher earns as much uh, money as a police officer, but if I simply said earns as much as a police officer, we're already kind of like understand what we mean by that. So what I want to do next is continue with this idea, but now I want to make the comparison using past participles. Um, a lot of times we're going to find that the comparison can be basically the same thing if you use verbs and if you use past participles, almost the same thing. Um, so if you, I want you to look at the example here at the very top, a doctor earns more money than a nurse. Well, you can express that idea by simply saying a doctor is better paid than a nurse. Right, so we want to compare the doctor and also the nurse, and uh, literally we're saying the same thing. However, we use um, a slightly different structure there. Instead of the uh, verb in the uh, present tense, we use the uh, past participle of, in this case, the verb paid. Um, and if we want to make the comparison between the teacher and the police officer, and we want to s express that they are kind of like on the same level as far as pay, then we can simply say um, a teacher is as well paid as a police officer. Okay, um, but with the only difference is that now we're using past participles to make these comparisons. So the last challenge that I have for you in this particular lesson is to make the comparison between two jobs, any job, but uh, just to give you a quick example of what I want you to do, uh, we're going to make the comparison between a doctor and a nurse. And what I would like for you to do is to use adjectives to compare the two jobs and also use nouns to compare them, uh, use verbs and past participles. So what could be an example? of a doctor versus a nurse. Well, you can say pretty much anything, like I mentioned in previous classes. When we think about comparisons, these are all opinions. So we can say doctors, um, working as a doctor is more interesting than working as a nurse. A doctor has worse hours than a nurse. That's if I'm comparing the noun. A doctor earns more money than a nurse. That's if I'm using a verbs. Uh, I could say um, doctor is better paid than a nurse. Um, and so what you want to do is use uh, what you learned in the previous lesson. Okay, we're going to stop right there. And what I want to do is that what um, we can go ahead and make examples comparing two jobs. But as, as he said on the video, the challenge is to be able to give examples using adjectives, using nouns, using verbs, or using past participles. 
Yes, do you understand? Why don't we choose two jobs, okay? Why don't we choose two jobs as a class and we will give a task to each of you. We'll give you a task on how to do it, okay? So you will help me out with that one. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Do we still have Monica? Monica, can you suggest a job? Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. Sorry. Sorry, yeah. I was fighting with my baby. Um, oh, did you get it? <laughs> no, yeah, that is just that she can she pick a, a market and she tried to mark my wall. So I was fighting to her for that. So I okay, do pay so... attention. Can you ask me again, please? Yes, I want I want to compare two jobs. So can you choose can you choose one job to be compared? Ah, um, well, uh, let me see. The the business in the, the in the same area, like a doctor and nurse, like any anything, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, uh, I compared the actor and music and the music. Okay, let's music. let's keep that one. Let's keep an actor. Okay. Okay. Let's an keep that one. An actor. Okay. Stay right there. Stay right there. Uh, let me see. Um. Jolanda, can you suggest a job to be compared versus an actor's job? Bus driver. Awesome. Okay, guys, we have an actor. Yes, we have an actor and we have a bus driver. So. Two so, different. <laughs> a lot, a lot. So we have, we have work to do, okay? So I'm going to assign you uh, what to do. Why don't we go with Mauricio and Sofia? Okay, you're going to prepare an example using adjective. Yes, you need to make a comparative example using adjectives uh, between an actor and a bus driver. All right, let's go work on that one, make it interesting. All right, and let's go with Irvin and Jolanda. Okay, Irvin and Jolanda, you will make comparative examples using nouns. Okay, same characters, an actor versus a bus driver. Try to make one example comparing them and make sure you use a noun. Okay, for example, hours, for example, vacation, uh, I don't know, lifestyle, etc. Okay. Irvin and Fernando. Yeah, Irvin and Fernando. Try to make examples using verbs. Using verbs, okay? And mainly you can use the verb earn. Yes, earn money, earn. Yeah. yeah. Okay, awesome, go for it, go for it. Work it out. And Monica, let me see, Monica, Francisco and Dagoberto. You may uh, provide an example using past participles. All okay. right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, what is the past participle, for example? Past participle? Yes. Well, guys, past participle is the third part of each verb, right? Each time you have a verb, for example, what? For example, the verb be is the base form. The simple past is was and where. And the past participle is been. So that's the third part of the verb. Been, okay. done, spoken, chosen. Um, uh, what else? Walked, cooked, etc. Okay, thank you, teacher. My pleasure. You have any question? Let me know. You can you can talk if you if you can uh, if I can suggest you a verb for a past participle. You can talk about train. You can say better trained, for example. Like like capacitado, right? Better trained, preparado, better trained. You can talk about it. Okay, we're giving you some time so you can prepare it.
This is a this is a high level of making comparative sentences. It must How many take examples. Us. Just one. Just one. You ready? Yeah, it is on it with Aaron. With Aaron no or with Aaron yes. <laughs> I mean with Aaron, it was a suggestion. Yeah, you could have used any other okay. verb. Mm -hmm. An actor earns more money than a bus driver. An actor earns more money than a bus driver. That's definitely yeah. correct. Thank you so much. It's definitely correct. Thank you, Fernando. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Go ahead. An actor is more exciting as a bus driver. Can you please repeat that one? An actor is more Exciting as a bus driver. No. An actor is as exciting as a bus driver. Is that what you're trying to say? Uh huh. Okay, okay. So you are saying that they are similar, uh, kind of similar as far as being exciting, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So make the correction, don't okay? You don't, I know. don't know. Um, I have the first participle. I use right. I use pick the woken the the past participle awake. Uh -huh. Um, I formulate that a bus driver woken early than an actor. Is correct? Okay. Uh, bus driver walking uh, early. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. Then an actor. It, it is. It is a good say that way. What happens is that you have to kind of formulate, as you said, which past participle you're gonna use to 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 make sense. You know what I mean? Yeah, but there is. I use. I need that you help me to to make the the sentence. Oh, well, if you want to use walking, you just need to put the words together, right? What are you trying to say? That a bus driver has to kind of wake up earlier than, than, a, than a bus driver, right? All right, yeah. Okay, let me pick another. Yes, Maybe that's kind of complicated. I have one. You have one, go ahead. A hmm. bus drivers drive more in the street than at actors. <laughs> That's totally correct. On main streets, especially, huh? On main streets. Yes, on main street, exactly. That Did makes you? a lot of sense. Yes, go ahead. The meaning of bus driver is camionero. Ah, uh, como motorista de bus. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> An actor has a better life quality than a bus driver. Definitely agree with that. Good example, it being yes. And you're using a noun, correct? Yes. Good job, good job. Thank you. You Somebody? repeat, Irving. Okay, Irving. I can hear you. Worthiness. Oh, okay. An actor has a better life quality than a bus driver. Definitely, right? They have a much better salary than a bus driver millions thousands of dollars okay I, I only in El Salvador, no that's not correct <laughs> i'm still trying to formulate with the past participle it's challenging with the past participle i yeah. suggest you to use about uh studies or or, or training you know i try to use seen 
the this to see, you know, uh, the bus. I want to formulate in that way, in this way. A bus driver seen many countries uh, driving than an actor. No. No. Um, yeah, in present and perfect, right? Has seen. Seen has, with N? Has, has seen. Has. Uh, you know what? I tried. <laughs> what happened? I don't, I you don't said know. you I, said a bus driver has seen more countries than what an actor has. Uh, Someone can help me with that, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it will be a bus driver has seen maybe more places than an actor. Okay. Okay, um, somebody somebody else owns an example. Go ahead. I have one, but I don't know if about now. <laughs> bus okay. driver uh, doesn't have vacation as an actor have. I don't know. Correct, that's correct. That's but correct. it's about nouns, teacher. Yes, because no, vacation, not. vacation no, is a okay. noun. You got it. You got it, lady. Oh, oh, although at the end you gotta use third person, right? Then then um then a bus driver has, has. and an actor has. Correct, correct. That one. Yes, try to make it simple. Try to make it simple. Okay. I know that it can be it can be a little tricky, it can be a little confusing. Okay, somebody has an example or can, can we switch topics? Um, my, my example, teacher. Go ahead, Francisco, feel free. Actor has better uh, schedule for work than a bus driver. Say, say working schedule. Working schedule. Uh-huh, can you repeat it again? Uh, actor has better working schedule than a uh, bus driver. That is correct. Do you think so? Well, yeah, if this is about opinion, remember, this is about opinions. I, I, I may see, I may get your example and it's correct, but I can have a different opinion. So this is about just saying an opinion about comparisons. Uh, can we move on or do we have a last example? I have a, an example. Please go ahead. Uh, the bus driver beat more hard than an actor. I'm sorry, the Except bus driver? The bus driver beat more hard than an actor. Except okay. if the actor is Will Smith. <laughs> Beats. Beat. Right. Oh, hit, please. Uh, excuse me, hit. Okay, you say hit. hit okay, hit. put it in third person. Put it in third person. Hits. Hits. Good job. Except Will Smith, huh? <laughs> now famous because of that incident, right? Let's move on, guys. Thank you so much for your participation. You are just great. Okay, this is for you. And this is our next objective. Let's watch and listen. Hi, everyone. With the end of this class, you will develop skills in listening to descriptions. After listening to the audio program, you'll complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three people describe their jobs. Your task is to answer the following questions. Do they like their jobs? Why or why not? So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in. Uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? 
Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you. Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a rest. Okay, let's analyze the first one. Did you get it or do you need to listen to it again? I think he's a teacher, no? Yes, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, I think he works with uh, 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 kids and he thinks that it's better than work with adults. Let me ask you, let me ask you clearly, um, how does he like his job? How? Uh, I don't, I think because the kids, uh, it's better works with kids than the other person, no? the other people, no. Somebody, he enjoys, I think, and the schedule is good. Okay, that was my next question. Why? Why? And you said it because he can be able, he can be able to choose his own schedule. Yes, that's correct. The first question was if he likes his job. Do you have that answer, guys? Does he like his job? Yes, he likes, yes, he likes his job. He does. What did he say about it? He likes to work with kids. He likes than the, uh -huh, than the, than the adults. He yeah. likes to work with kids. Wait, the comparison, Mauricio. He likes to work with kids so much more, so much more. than so much working more than with adult. adults. Uh -huh. Yes, because because working with kids, it's so much, it's so much, uh, it's more fun, right? Than working with adults. Do you agree with that, Mauricio? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, you don't have you don't have to uh, stress with kids than than the adults. You, know? uh, you see, now that I think more. about it. Okay, let's they go over more. number two. Okay, remember, uh -huh. it's two questions. You have to answer right if if the if the person likes his or her job, okay, and why. Let's go. Working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef. Vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah. It's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of job did you find for the... All right. Did you get that one, guys, completely? Or do you need to listen to it again? We have to listen again. I got it. I got, you got it. it? Okay, let's yes. listen again, just one more time. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day. Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef, vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of job? All right. So how does he like his job, guys? Waiting. Hang how does he like his job? He likes his job for the money. He likes, say, he likes. He likes his job for the for, for his money. 
for his for... money. Okay, okay. Because he well, needs he the money. He needs but the but money. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, hey, he really, he one. really don't like, don't like the the job. There you go. There you go. That's the thing. He really doesn't, Mauricio. He really, he really doesn't, doesn't like, like his job. However, he needs the money. Who knows? Mm. You know, he has a bunch of debts, you know, and he needs the money because he said it's good money. It's good yeah. money, he said, right? And, I think he but, hates uh, to dish Wash the dishes. Dish, no, wash the dishes. <laughs> yes. I totally agree with you. Then he won a, a wedding uh, and a chef, maybe. Yeah, he, he helps or the chef. Money. What happens is that he, mm -hmm. he cuts That's, the vegetables. Uh, mm -hmm. He doesn't like cut, yeah. cut up the vegetables. He doesn't like cutting the vegetables. Yes, Rafael? Yes. He doesn't like cutting the vegetables, cutting the meat, cutting here and there for the chef. You know, it's tiring. It's even dangerous. You can cut your finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a difficult job. Definitely it is. Okay. And why he continues working there? Because he really he needs, needs the money, money, right? It's very difficult now that I think about it when you're working at a job because of necessity, because you really need the money rather than because you like what you're doing. Um, it's a privilege if you are in that position where you are working at something you feel passionate about. Yes. Right? It's good when they... Mm -hmm. But it's, it's not a summer job. That's true. It's a summer job. Good point. Good point. Thank you, Yolanda. Let's continue. What job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really... Hello? We're reading, but... I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. We're listening. We're listening to the audio. Can't you listen, Sophia? No. Okay, let me try again, okay? I'm working for a marketing company. But I need the money. So, what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full time? Yeah, but I work from 2 in the afternoon until 11 at night, so I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. All right, how about, how about this young lady? Does she like her job? Yes. Mm, no. Yes, she yes, likes she her likes job. Yes, she, she likes her. I will say she likes her job very much. Yes, she likes. Yes. The way she yeah. said it, right? She said many things. Why, why does why does she like her job? Because it's funny, and she works with bunch of students, and it's easy for her. And it's easy. Yeah. Who wouldn't like to have an easy job, huh? <laughs> Great. And, I um, listen her like annoying people. <laughs> it's like the people call you and uh, do you have a uh, no? I have a credit card for you. Uh, this is the benefits. 
or <laughs> she persuades Telling you something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't want. <laughs> something that you don't need. Something that exactly, you don't need. Exactly, Erwin, exactly. You want to hang up the call, right? You want to hang up the call. Well, people do that. <laughs> people do yeah. that on the spot. It's not an easy job, I would say. It's not an easy job at all. But if she likes it, <laughs> you know, and why does she like her job? Because it's really easy, right? Because as you said, it's been, she gets to hang out, right, with the students. It has a lot of benefits. Tell me about your job, right, guys? Why do you why do you like do you like your job? Yes, do you like your job and why or why not? Let me hear you, Irvin. Let's start with you. I like my job uh, because um, first, what I do you study, do? I'm a network engineer. Uh huh. I like it because uh, you have the opportunity to discover new things, to learn more about technology, and you can share that uh, knowledge with your coworkers and with the clients. And that's very interesting. And that's why I like my job. Uh, I like what I do. I like the pavement. I like the environment. All this stuff. What, what about what about the the working hours? What is it like? uh eight hours sometimes you have to work over time but uh, those are special occasions do you have weekends off yeah okay that's good thank you for the info thank let's you. hear let's hear somebody else let me see mauricio let me hear you well yes uh, i i really like my job uh, because I enjoy to to talk to talk with uh, with the other person. To I like to sell, you know. Uh, I really like to sell. Uh, in in my case, I sell. It's a uh, insurance. is is an insurance business. Okay. No? And uh, and it's for me. It's, it's it is easy. It is easy to promote to promotion. That's that kind of uh, in that kind of sector of business. Phil, it's, in that kind uh, of field, it, it, it's it's easy to promote uh, your business because it's it's your field. You you feel like fish in the water, right? Yeah, it's it's but right now, but but. Uh, it, uh, uh, I don't know how do you say that, but it's an uh, uh, the time are changing. No, the time are changing for us. For example, right now the the tendency is to sell by computers, to sell by uh, with Online. new technologies, with the new technology. But in that sector. The people are more. It's not too uh, easy. Like, uh, for example, I compare sometimes. Some, I sometimes I compare the that we sell or uh, the other way is a, a ticket, flight ticket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That the that right now the all the people are are more uh, it is easier for them to buy by the computer or the and and we can buy the ticket for to fly by computer. It's not necessary to go to the agency, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but for and that is a tendency right now. Right, right. I think in in all segment. Because no of second. the coronavirus, uh, that has to do also with that, that people prefer to, you know, make transactions from home rather than going out, rather than, rather than visiting you and talking to you face to face. Uh, 
Yes. I totally feel you. Thank you for the information, sir. Uh, it sounds pretty interesting, a lot interesting. I, I, obviously, I won't have enough time to hear you all. Um, I would love to hear you all, honestly, uh, but let's see what we can do. Let me hear Francisco. Can we hear you, Francisco? Yes, teacher. Tell I us. Like, I like my, my job. What do you do, Francisco? Um, I work as a driver in a company. Okay. And I like my job because uh, I go to the, the place, uh, another place in, all, all day. You, okay, you like your job because you go to many different places. Okay, uh, I go to many different places in all day. And I don't feel, I don't feel a uh, working day. I don't feel hard work, working. You don't hard. feel your working hours because you like what you're doing. You like driving the car, huh? And, and the, the pay is, 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 is the, the better. The pay is the better, really? Uh, 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 because, uh, I, I work uh, from Monday to, to Friday. And, and it's, it's a good salary, huh? Yes, yes, I uh, it. Yes, it, it is. It is, yes, it is. <laughs> All right, I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy that you like your job as a driver. You like what you do and you're getting a good income, you know? not priority what about you rafael tell us about you a little bit we still have one minute no more than that please <laughs> i like my job what do you I, do i am a marker in a restaurant i have a i have a many activities um uh in fact the um, the time uh, the time goes fast, but I start at 7 a.m. and I finish 7 or 8 p.m., but I like it. That's nice. That's nice. So it's kind of absorbing. It, it, it really consumes your time, uh, but you really like what you're doing. So at the end of the day, <laughs> you realize that it's what? It's 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and, and the day is, is gone practically. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Okay, Sophia, tell us about you also. Ms. Calderon? Uh -huh. uh, like my job, I am a contract. Mm. Oh yeah, how do you like it? Uh, because I like the mathematics and it's, sometimes it's boring. Sometimes but, it's boring? But I like work Got in it. in and with the technologies about account, I think it's interesting. It's a lot interesting. And I think I think an accountant's job is it's it's like more secure than some other jobs, you know, because you're working indoors, you are maybe in an office, you may be working at home, so right, it's a good environment. Let's finish up with Fernando. Tell us about it, Fernando. Can you? Yeah, yes, I can. So I like it. I like my job because I can make changes to projects and events every year. I like working with the children and solving their small problems during the <laughs> recess time. <laughs> pretty fun, pretty interesting, yeah. I guess. Yeah, because the ch children uh, see you as an example, right? Uh, for for their so even as Them. a dad even as a dad so um, talk more with the teachers uh, than with your parents i have a question for you is it is it more fun to work with children than with adults 
Yes. Definitely. Because their problems are very small and are very funny because uh, they fight for the, the in soccer, for example, and in basketball, or only only boy want to play with the boys, not with the girls. <laughs> and in, you can you can see the change. For example, when when they are in the first grade, for example, only boys, only girls. When they are, for example, in seventh grade or in the high in the high school, for example. Wow. you see all different changes, huh? Exactly, you experience exactly. everything. Hey, that's a great job Very what nice. you have there, Fernando. Yeah, I like You're it. blessed. <laughs> all of you are blessed. I will see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you for making it so fun, this class. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye